What is a scramjet engine? A scramjet engine is a supersonic combustion engine that ditches the compressor and turbine of a typical jet engine and can attain speeds greater than Mach 5. What are jet engines? Before we take a closer look at scramjet engines, let's touch upon jet engines in general. Jet engines are combustion engines that generate thrust, or movement, through jet propulsion. These engines find application in high-speed situations, such as jet airplanes, fighter jets, missiles and drones. Jet engines are also modified for use in high-speed cars and power plants. A basic jet engine works on the same principle as a traditional gas turbine. A jet engine consists of a compressor at the front followed by a combustion chamber and a turbine. The compressor and turbine are mounted on the same shaft. A fan at the front of the compressor sucks in air from the atmosphere. The compressor, composed of multiple blades rotating at high speeds on a shaft, then compresses the incoming air. The pressure and temperature of the air increases and the speed drops as a result of this compression. Whereas in the combustion chamber, fuel is sprayed on the compressed air and a spark from the spark plug ignites the mixture. The mixture then expands spontaneously, creating a jet. The reaction force generated from the jet trying to blast out of the nozzle provides the necessary thrust to move the plane-slash-vehicle forward. The amount of thrust that is generated depends on the speed of the exiting jet in comparison to the speed of the inlet air. The greater the speed of the exiting jet, the greater the amount of thrust produced. Before exiting the engine, the jet passes through the turbine blades. The movement imparted by the exiting jet on the turbine blades is transferred to the compressor by a shaft. What are ramjet and scramjet engines? Ramjet and scramjet engines are jet engine variants that ditch the rotary compressor and turbine from a regular jet engine. The two models rely on the natural ramming of air to produce thrust. The basic operating principle in ramjets and scramjets involves converting the significant kinetic energy of the incoming hypersonic or supersonic air into pressure energy. Air flowing at hypersonic speeds has very high dynamic pressure. Dynamic pressure is also called velocity pressure and is formally defined as the kinetic energy per unit of volume. However, the dynamic pressure of air flowing at subsonic speeds is insufficient to produce any usable thrust. Furthermore, when an aircraft is at a standstill, the dynamic pressure of the air surrounding it is even lower and cannot be used to produce thrust. Thus, ramjets and scramjets require assistance for their initial takeoff until the plane attains a specific speed. Both types operate efficiently only when the surrounding air is flowing at no less than supersonic speeds, starting from Mach 3. Now, regarding the construction of the two jet engines, the compressor of the regular jet engine at the front is replaced by a diffuser, while the other end of the engine is occupied by a propelling, convergent-divergent, nozzle. Diffusers are devices used to reduce the velocity of a fluid, incoming air, in our case, and increase its pressure and temperature. Nozzles, on the other hand, are utilized to decrease the pressure and increase the velocity of a fluid, exhaust jet. Since there is no compressor in ramjet and scramjet engines, the need for a turbine is also eliminated. When air moving at hypersonic speeds is forced to pass through the diffuser, its dynamic pressure is converted into static pressure. The speed of the airflow decreases, while the pressure and temperature increase. This increased temperature and pressure aid in the combustion of the mixture. The rest of the working procedure remains the same as in a regular jet engine. Inside the combustion chamber, the air is mixed with fuel and spark plugs help ignite the mixture, while the propelling nozzle accelerates the exhaust stream to generate thrust. Ramjets versus Scramjets In a ramjet, the incoming air is slowed down to below subsonic levels by the diffuser. It makes use of oblique shock waves to slow the flow down, followed by a final normal shock wave to bring it below subsonic speeds. Since the amount of thrust generated depends on the speed of the exhaust jet, in ramjets, similar to jet engines, the amount of generated thrust is limited by the subsonic flow of air in the combustion chamber. To increase thrust production, the incoming air must not be slowed down below subsonic speeds, scramjet engines do just that. Scramjet engines are nothing but an upgrade to ramjet engines, in fact, scramjet stands for supersonic combustion ramjet engines. In scramjets, the incoming airflow is not slowed down to subsonic levels and maintains supersonic speeds. This is accomplished by a more gradually diverging diffuser. The combustion chamber in scramjets is also modified to operate at supersonic speeds, while the combustion chamber in ramjets only operates at subsonic speeds. The propelling nozzle is also modified to accelerate the exhaust jet to higher Mach numbers. Thus, 
the thrust generated by scramjets is more than that of ramjets. Scramjets, therefore, can fly at greater speeds than ramjets. Scramjets carry fuel and use the ingested atmospheric oxygen as the oxidizer, whereas rockets carry both fuel and an oxidizing agent on board. As scramjets don't carry an oxidizing agent, they are restricted to atmospheric flights and can't be used for space travel. Yet, 